Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to go through a brand that um, I'm surprised I haven't spoken much about before. I know it's been in a few of my favorites, but I thought I'd do a video solely about this just because it's probably out of all of my skincare products, this is the brand that pops up the most. And it's been a firm favorite for at least a couple years now, if not longer. I've been using the brand for really quite a while, so I trust it. I know it works for me, and um, hopefully it inspires you guys to test out as well, especially if you've got sensitive skin. Um, to give you an idea of my skin, by the way, it's it tends to be quite dry more than anything else. I'd say it's definitely mixed, because I do get oily patches every once in a while, but I am quite prone to spots of eczema around my eyes especially as well, so I always have to be really careful. My skin can react very easily to anything that's got too much perfume in it or, I don't know, anything that's a bit weird. So um, this brand is really good with sensitive skin and also I use some of their products for oily skin just like around my t-zone especially or um, you know in the summer when I just really don't want to shine and it just it's great it works really well so the brand is as you probably have seen in the title the brand is La Roche Posay I think I'm gonna struggle honestly throughout this whole video on how to pronounce this brand but I feel like a bit of an idiot if I say it in English but I hope I don't sound like too much of an idiot if I'm pronouncing it in French. So I've always said La Roche Posay, so that's how I'm gonna call it throughout this video. I apologize if that offends you, but um, I'm sticking to it. So here we go. One of the things that I've been using for um, probably the longest out of all of these, um, I started using it when I really started struggling with bits of eczema on my face, and it's their Nutritique Intense Rich Day Cream. So it's, I have their softer version that's not as intense, just Nutriti Cartes, but um, I have to say, I this one is definitely the one for me. Like, the other one's just not strong enough. This one, I really like the texture, I really like the scent, and if I put this on at night, I wake up in the morning without any dry patches, which is quite surprising for my skin. So this is probably one of the only face creams that has ever done that for me, so um, this is my go-to above everything else. As well as that, what I've been using for a while is their Effaclair Matte. So this one I don't use every day. I use it actually very sparingly because it is for oilier skin and enlarged pores, which I don't I don't have too bad, but it works really well on my forehead in the summer just so that I just so that I don't get shiny by the end of the day, you know? And it's one of those amazing creams that just you notice the difference the second you've put it on. You like the texture even just it really works with my skin so I would really recommend this if you've got probably oilier skin or like me a bit more of a mixed skin so another one that I bought when I was struggling with um, my eczema was the Le Picard Le Lavante so the uh, how do you say that in English cleansing oil which really again I love it it doesn't smell amazing but it's paraben free it's soap free and it gives you this kind of feeling like you've, you've been moisturized in the shower you know you don't you don't feel like your skin is really dry after the shower I don't know about you but I f especially if I'm like shaving my legs or something like that I feel like I'm shriveling up the second I get out of the shower so this avoids that for me and then after that I put on the Lipicard Lait so the milk which this is probably my second, if not third bottle. I use this pretty much every day and just mostly on my legs and on my arms if I can be bothered, you know. But um, yeah, I really recommend it as well. It's for sensitive skin and for, it says, uh, dry and uncomfortable skin, which I feel like that's sort of what I have. So um, yeah, this is a staple in my bathroom. Um, as well as that, these two are probably my newest La Roche Posay products that I've been using, but I still want to recommend them because I've really been enjoying using them. So um, this one is their face scrub. Um, I don't use this very often because my skin's so dry, etc., etc. But um, I about maybe once a week maximum I'll use this, and it's really just a you know big scrub to get rid of all the dead skin cells or you know on a Sunday if I really just want to get very clean if you see what I mean so um, yeah this one uh, I you can see I'm already halfway through it. I know it's a small bottle but I have been using it I think long enough to be able to say that I'm really happy with it and I will be repurchasing this one 
So this last one is the most recent one that I've got um, from La Roche-Posay and I honestly only got it because it was a three for two offer at Boots and it's the Effa Claire Gel Mousson Purifiant, so uh, purifying foaming gel. It is for oilier skin, so this isn't in my everyday routine. I use it maybe every other day, probably a bit less than that, but I just really like the texture again, the scent and it looks really nice in my bathroom because now I've got this collection of La Roche-Posay products. So yeah, I didn't have very high expectations for this in particular, but I, I really like it. I use it quite often and maybe if you've got like a bit of an oilier skin and you're looking for an everyday face wash, I would definitely test this one out because all of these products as well are used with their uh, thermal water, is that how you say it? Yeah, which I have on its own as well. I don't use this very often because I like my fancy MAC prep and prime and everything, but this is just really nice, fancy as F water, um, which is really practical to have. I always have it on my makeup table. Um, I've probably had it for about a year and I'm still not done with it, as you can hear, but um, yeah, it's all used with this water and it's all dermatologically approved from their laboratory and um, yeah, at the moment I'd say it's my favorite skincare brand um, and I think it has been for a while. So if you haven't heard of them or if you have heard from them and haven't tried anything from them, do give it a go and let me know what you think. Uh, so that is all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I forgot to say my glasses, by the way, are Ollie Quinn. They're brand new, in case you're wondering. And there you go. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you again soon. And please do click like and subscribe as usual and comment down below if you've tried any of these products. Thank you, bye.